we're at the Land Rover Burley Horse Trials, which is one of the biggest equestrian events in the world. You have riders travelling from all over the world, from the Southern Hemisphere, from Australia, from New Zealand, from America, uh, and all around Europe to come and compete uh, around one of the biggest courses uh, the man has made for, for, for horse and riders to compete around. When I was first starting off at this level about nine years ago, uh, I had a few really good results when I was a younger rider here, and um, I still get goosebumps. Uh, as soon as I set foot on, 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 on the estate here and it's, it's an event that all event riders want to ride at. Well, eventing is the all-round test of horsemanship. So you've got the three uh, quite different phases which require very different skills from the horses. So the dressage uh, is all about a correct way of going and trainability and elegance. The cross country is really like going into a battlefield and it tests a horse's speed and stamina, but most of all their courage and bravery. And then they've got to be able to come out after that on the third day and jump around a show jumping course, which on its own is difficult, but with the with the difficulties they faced the day before, it's like running a marathon and then going and having to perform a gymnastic routine on the last day. Yeah, it was um, a lifelong dream to ride on the on the British team and um, to get my first call up for a World Championships was was great and we had a wonderful atmosphere in the British camp and um, didn't go in as, as a favourite, which Britain's sometimes been in the past, but uh, we're delighted to come away with a team silver medal. Um, so it was, a, it, it was a great week. For me, it was, um, uh, it was huge mixed emotions because um, on one hand, the performances were, were, were great and we're absolutely delighted. I just tragically lost my horse um, after the cross country and he um, suffered what we think is a suspected heart attack and, um, and, and very sadly died. Um, but you know, what greater way to remember him than to have a to have a silver medal which he contributed towards? So he wasn't um, an out and out winner, and particularly as a young horse, he was uh, he was one who could easily slip under the radar. But he just did the job. He just he was unflappable. If they made five star events, he would have been the first to have flown around them. He was fast. He was athletic. Not sensational in the way he he looked or travelled, but he um, he he just he was bulletproof uh, from that point of view. And yeah, it was a real real honour to ride him. The whole thing is just about looking forwards the whole time and um, and you know, life throws up challenges and you've just got to deal with them in the best way you can and be, be focused on your end goal and try and go about in the best manner you can. So you know, obviously the last, the last 12 months have been very testing. I had periods uh, for uh, the first half of that where um, I was told by surgeons that I probably would never compete again and um, you know, it wasn't just straight obstinance because there were times when you know, I thought I was going to have to believe that and start looking at, at, at other careers but um, you know, luckily it's, it, you know, it worked out and uh, you know, it's just about being level-headed and just always looking forward so um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep, keep going and hopefully um, have good times ahead of us. Now our main focus is, is looking to the Rio Olympics in two years' time. We've got the European Championships in Blair in Scotland uh, next year, which is, is a sort of short-term goal, but really with everything focused on, on you know, trying to win medals at Rio and um, you know, put Britain back at the top of eventing.